Welcome back, everyone. This week we're at the bottom one XC, and ah, uh, that wasn't that wasn't uh, me pushing my leg against the brake like at um, Rates. That was just me stalling because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so uh, I think I put it in third gear, and I was just way too much of a pussy with the throttle. So oh, <laughs> uh, what a fool I am. Anyways, off to a fantastic start again. <laughs> Um, it's been raining all week, so it looks... I thought it was going to be super, super slippery. So I put a new rear on. Um, I'm happy I did. Um, but it didn't help me at the start. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, terrible start aside, I am super happy with my performance this race. I came um, 38th. Uh, overall and 13th in class. I think there was 93 overall races and there was 23 in the novice A class. Much smaller this week because of the bad weather. Um, but it was one of those races where it starts off a little bit slick and a little bit shitty and then after um, a couple of laps um, the, the, the conditions improved so we were getting faster and faster each lap. Right, so now we're we're heading into the woods first lap, and this is by everyone. I guess we're trying to figure out whether it's slippery or not. What's going on in here? It's slippery. There's people down. <laughs> the first lap was the was the worst. Like, uh, yeah, especially as we were all trying to figure out, there was a lot more bits going around. I think they widened up some of the things and uh, lanes lines and just gave like double ways around trees and stuff, which I don't remember there being in the previous years. Maybe they were there. Maybe these extra lines are being like burnt in. Like there was one line just off to the right there, which was probably quicker. Um, there's tape down everywhere. <laughs> I can't tell which way is supposed to be the main one, but it, yeah, whatever. Like you can go a few feet off right anyway, so it's not a huge deal. So yeah, we're just trying to get through the slippery bits and see. I, I was just worried about bike deep ruts, but there wasn't any. So that's 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 all good, really. I found out the flagger's name, her name was Jill. Um, she said that they took out about a kilometre of the track, because, uh, or, or they took out some kilometres, and one kilometre was just a swampy mess. Um, just super, super wet. So I'm glad they didn't send us through that, because I'm having flashbacks of uh, the year before. And that was actually way, way worse, because the motocross side, well, for me, was so slippery. I remember just, like, standing on the top of the hill and not being able to move. Oh, it was it was oh, bad flashbacks, but I did put a new tire on because of those flashbacks. So we're still we're still going through here. I remember the thing it was like the first year coming through here was absolute carnage, um, but this time it's it's not so bad. I am getting roosted to absolute fuck though. <laughs> so cut a bit out where you, I, I've actually cleaned the camera off. And you can actually see again, and um, they've improved this part uh, this year. Rather than just some logs that everyone like loads of people were cheating and riding around, they put some good fencing in. There's people watching. Like this, guys. Hey, I think they shout my name out. Oh, I did, I'm sorry I didn't shout back to them, but it's good. Nice to see. Thanks, thanks for the support. They feel good. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they put these tires down, and um, yeah, nobody. I don't. Nobody was just skipping them, so that was really, really cool. And um, yeah, it was it was good fun to jump over those. I, I I spooked myself a little bit on the second lap, and. Um, I felt like I was going through these parts a little bit quicker than uh, I was the year before. I have two fresh sets, like two two fresh sets of tires on, so front and rear are as good as they're gonna get. So it's all just rider skill. Still can't do this job. Terrifies the shit out of me. Um, I got more comfortable jumping off of it, but not so much jumping onto it, over it. I I, I need to just practice that one jump, but I don't think I'm ever gonna learn that one. <laughs> so yeah, this week we got a lot of cool people here. Um, there's there's Rob. Uh, I met a. Uh, younger fella. I actually, I think I saw him, I think he said we were together on the start line at Gopher, a guy called Blake. Um, he absolutely smoked me at Gopher. He, he absolutely destroyed destroyed my times, but um, he said that he only started riding uh, last year um, and that he wasn't able to beat my times previously, but this year he's, he's just destroying me. He, uh, although I think overall I did actually beat him by one position. In, in in this race, it's once the time was given back, that three and a half minutes. Um, this little bit coming through here, I, I 
every time I saw someone go up the right, I was like, I'll just go to the left because in previous times I've seen people get stuck going up there. And the one time I tried to go up that, I got my wheel stuck on a <laughs> stuck on a root. So I just wasted like it wasn't a huge amount of time wasted, but it was didn't feel as smooth and it got me all flustered. Here's the world's slowest overtake as well. Yeah, 13 kilometers per hour up on the inside. <laughs> but yeah, there's also um Blake, uh, William, uh, uh Aaron. Uh, is Isaac's father? Uh, is it Aaron? Aaron? Shit. Now I forget. I think it's Aaron. Spelled Aaron. The North American way. Um, and Isaac. So it was really cool to see, have, see everyone here. Um, smaller turnout than usual. Um, uh, but the weather is not, is not a shock. So we're coming through. This is... I, I felt like each time I was coming through this section, I was, I was able to be more confident, go faster, brake later. Like right now, I'm accelerating. I didn't change gear this lap. And then I start drifting from here into this corner. Eh, it's like, okay, I'm losing my brakes, but it's nothing special. But I feel like each lap after this, I managed to get a little bit faster and brake a little bit later. And um, yeah, coming through this part of the woods, it was super nice. There was just a few little like routes you had to look out for, but they, they were not a big deal. Like, they really didn't try and catch you out or anything like that. Um, there's a lot more little logs across the trails this this year uh, and exposed routes like this little section. And then after this lap, or I think um, the next lap, sorry, I start going to the left because there's like a little mound and you can just jump over that log. Although eventually it got right, destroyed. Buddy. So here's the fella staring you upwards. Huh? So yeah, he asked me I'll to stop. So I'm like, okay, uh, maybe something's wrong. He's giving me one word answers. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, maybe maybe there's something wrong. Are you stuck? Yeah, like I'm trying to get He's up. telling me he's stuck and he can't get up. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'll come and help him. Get his bike up. Get it out of the way of all the people coming through. And I'm like, well, I could try and push it out of here, but I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna ride it out of here. It's, it's not so bad. <laughs> so, so in the middle of the race, I'm riding someone else's bike, as you do. <laughs> Had a little chin wag with him. He seemed okay, and he's like, "Yeah, you get going, get going." And as I'm heading back to my bike, hey, Isaac! Like, oh, now I get to race Isaac. So he's probably about. I don't, I'm not quite sure how far he is ahead, but now I've got a little bit of driver. Like, oh, now I've got to catch Isaac. Now I've definitely got to catch Isaac. Um, usually, because he's uh, he's in novice B, so he starts behind me. So I don't usually get to race with him. So we usually only just like compare and chat about the race afterwards. But, but now he's actually ahead of me. And um, I'm like, oh, now I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Come here, little bastard. I'm coming for you. Uh, so <laughs> I'm coming through the woods. This, this like each lap coming through here, it was getting like the mud was getting better and like more tacky, and you could just go a little bit faster. Uh, I, I really like following this guy. Uh, I got I got roosted right somehow up the the, the helmet, and it went into my mouth, nose and into my mouth. But I just really liked it because in a second you'll see him do a jump. When he goes over this. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I want to try. <laughs> so I do the same thing. But what you didn't see there was, as I came down, I accidentally stamped on my rear pedal, smacked my face into the uh, thing. I was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> and then this is another one of those grass straights that I was, I, I really enjoyed. I actually got Accelerate all the way until this point and then started breaking in the later laps. But this is why like the times improved so much. So at this point, my lap was like a 16, 16 minute 20. But by the end, um, like they, my laps progressively got quicker to like 16 minutes and then they dropped down my final lap because the, the, the Bill guy I was chatting to said he took three and a half minutes off my last time, which means I'll have had a, a 15 minute five for my last lap, which I'm really happy with. That would that would have been an absolute stormer of a lap, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Um, and um, looking at say like Rob's times, he was he was in the 14 minutes 26 by the by the his last lap, so that would correlate that he's still shitloads faster than me. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, good on Rob. He did really good. Like look at his times. Like oh my god minute faster 30 seconds to a minute faster each lap not surprising um, but yeah it was really cool to cool to see here to see him and chat with him after the race as well so yeah I'm feeling like a little bit like I've improved a tiny bit on the MX side I was able to you know in years past I 
I feel like I can barely go around the corners, but now I feel like I can sort of wobble around the corners. Now I just need to learn to get like a bit more confidence and ride the ride the ruts. This person lets me by. Thank you very much. Um, still a little hesitant coming over these hills because I can't. I, I just don't know what's over them. All I can do, I did it one one lap, but I don't feel like confidence. This bit, that jump, is. Um, became really good later in the race. Uh, my fastest I think I've ever been over that is like 50 or 56 or something, which I did last year. I went over it just then, you can see the that speed up. Oh, I fixed my bike up. Fix this. <laughs> I think it said it was like 50 or something. Um, but I'm on like, I think it was on my like sixth or seventh lap. I think it was my seventh lap. I went over it like 75 and it felt amazing. I think it was my sixth lap I went over at 75. This, this, my last lap I, I went over it like 70, but because it, it was just so, so happy with the suspension upgrades. It just felt so smooth coming down, and I never felt like I've jumped so far in my life. But that one's like a really like smooth roller jump. It's not like you go uphill and you scare the shit out of yourself. So now I just see that. I've just now I just now seen Isaac. So I'm like, I'll go for it. Come here. Make sure no one's trying to catch me as well. Um, yeah. So. It's, so it's a, this is a good, it's good. I hope that uh, when we come back, it is not as wet um, so that we get the full course. Um, it'll be cool to see if they change up the enduro section or if we run it backwards or something. I like, I, I, I do hope that when we come back yeah, for round two, it's not the same course, but hey, we'll see. If it is the same course, maybe I'll be able to actually do the bloody jumps. <laughs> I won't, don't be silly. Maybe I won't stall it off the start. That would be, that would be ideal. Then we also stall off the start. God, that's embarrassing. Two races in a row. I'm trying a little too hard. I wasn't paying attention. I was turning over a route, so I lost the front a little bit, but I didn't go down. So, just take it easy through this section again. There's loads and loads of routes. Maybe I took it a little too easy and went back to the right because I saw the thing was too slanted, so I wanted to go um, and try and square it up a little bit more. And then, because I went to the far right, I was like, oh, well, there's no way I can make it back to the left now, where the route is just, sorry, the log is just snapped. <laughs> but yeah, slowly, slowly creeping up behind Isaac. I think because he saw me when we were coming down that grass straight, um, he decided to uh, pull it out because then he set his fastest lap of uh, 16, 16, 16.14 in. So it, uh, that's why on that lap, I only did a 16.10, so I only just slightly caught on him that lap, but then he let me by, and then he had a off, I think he said he had an off that lap, and then on like his sixth lap he realised he had a flat tyre as well, so his times unfortunately fell off, but um, still had a blast trying to chase him down, this was, it was so much fun, just like, just seeing him and just like making a little, like, inch by inch trying to catch him up. It's easier when you're following someone, I reckon, than uh, if you're like out front. So he may have had that like, oh, so, like, I know he's coming, but not quite to the right. It was way more sloppy than to the left. And then I, I like, I was trying to not ride the full, like whatever berm there was, because you could kind of cut across a bit. And then I realized through this section, which I was doing in later laps, you just go through and you can keep going until the stone and then you can break. Um, so and then because that uh, like log thing isn't actually that bad, you can kind of just go straight over it and then turn. So I, I was making little notes like that in my head, which I was, which is what I was trying to do to try and get faster around each lap. Coming back through here, it it it's really not so bad right now. It's actually getting pretty good. I was wondering if that kid was still here, the one from the lap prior. But now he's gone. And then also his buddy showed up with the uh, stuck open throttle. It happened to him at Cochrane's and it said he said it was happening to him again here. So that's that's unfortunate two races in a row that his throttle was just being caught, stuck wide open. I see Isaac. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Makes me sound like a predator. No, it's not so, it's not so great. <laughs> oh, it's nice that I've actually fixed my bike up. Hit 80 down there. Whoa. And a little bit, a little bit too excited. I should have, um, I, I had the rear locked up clearly. That I should have been tapping it, and I would have had better control, which is what I was doing later. But you know, lesson learned for the first time. Um, yeah, I fixed up my bike. Langs, big shout out to Langs, of course, as always. 
um, they they'd obviously seen my post about me making fun of that my deck that my uh, fender got smashed against the tree because I can't ride for shit. Um, but yeah, they uh, sorted me out with a new fender. Um, it turned up much quicker than I expected. Uh, I didn't expect it to be here for this race, so I actually had my old one from last season, the red one, to put back on the one that was all like zip tied together. <laughs> but that's all good, and I also got a new um, speedo cable. So. Well, speedo sensor wire, because um, uh, turns out it wasn't loose in the last race. It didn't just wiggle out like it has been for the last three years. I did rip it when I crashed as well, so that was a bit annoying. That's they're surprisingly expensive. I might try and solder the other one back together and see if that holds. But <laughs> yeah, we'll see. And then I'll have two for the next time I inevitably smash my bike to pieces. I was also really happy at the uh, decals we're able to transfer over so easily. Um, Turns out, don't heat gun it when you're taking it off because as you try and pull it, it stretches the decal. <laughs> one of my, on the, one of the side ones is about a centimeter longer than the other one. I was like, oh no! So I just took them off cold, and then I used the heat gun to pl uh, apply them back on. So that that worked. So yeah, coming up. Bye bye guide. So my position here is a little bit messed up. Um, I was making a position back each lap, which was kind of satisfying to see. Um, Good news, no real big blisters. I had a tiny little one in the place that my last one was. Oh, I got new gloves, as you can see. Nice, nice new gloves. The same ones that I had before, the fly racing ones. Really like them. Um, for years, didn't have blisters. I think the new, the, the blister that I got in this race, the tiniest of tiny little ones, it didn't really bother me. Um, it was just because my skin is still like healing from the race before. <laughs> um, got, got some new clothes. Went shopping, as you do. I guess I can see why I like why my wife likes shopping, but I, I prefer to buy like discount motorcycle stuff. <laughs> discount, of course, because you know, I'm being a cheap ass because I keep smashing my bike and I need the funds for that instead of clothes. Like myself. I mean, I can only be so handsome, right? Like, don't need to show off. <laughs> so yeah, coming down here, I see, it's a little bit off camera. I see this guy, I see Isaac go to the right. Oh, it's the guy who got stuck, and we made it further, and they was friends with him. So I, I went around the long way, um, but Isaac actually managed to make it up pretty quickly. Um, it's it's a bit of a gamble. I, I didn't know if he would make it up without getting stuck or anything. He did. Oh, hit a tree there. That's right. Didn't break anything this time, just mm, tiny tap. He's definitely riding faster because he knows I'm behind him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I needed to, what I needed to do to, for my suspension to run it perfectly on here. It was pretty good in most places, but it was a little bit bumpy over some of the stuff. So I I honestly don't know what I would change. I would. It's one of those things where I was like, I, I, sh I need to go like fiddle with it, ride a loop fiddle with it more and see what it's like but then it's like obviously how do I replicate the condition of this race uh, on a random trail like if I get working for the trail yeah I don't know and it wasn't as muddy or wet as I thought because well I mean it was on the first lap but by the fifth sixth seventh laps it was pretty nice like I, I was really liking these conditions actually um Yeah, remember that year there was like a was, a was a goose or a duck was running around this part of the course. <laughs> that was good fun, and I really liked these additions of these um, on the grass track of these like these bales which you had to ride around. I felt like I was getting some really good practice of like sitting on the front. I need to get back to Lucas's uh, yard and practice some grass track work like this. But I was having a really good time riding this stuff. Just each lap I was practicing was just like sit more forward, sit on the thing. And have at it. So unfortunately, coming through here, um, I was looking at Isaac and not really paying attention, and I fucked that up. <laughs> even back my horn, and then unfortunately I knocked my GoPro upwards. I didn't even notice. Like ah, uh, so unfortunately all my footage just kind of looks like this from here out. But nevertheless, I had a great time. 13th overall, pretty damn happy. Sorry, not 13th overall. 13th in class and 38th overall. Isaac lets me by, and um, he, we, we, I, I assume he was right behind me. Every time I looked back, he was there, but then after a while, he was just vanished. So I think, like he said, he laid it down somewhere. 
Um, yeah, anyways, uh, I think that will be it for this week. Great race. <laughs> Not as wet as I thought. Anyway, that'll do. See you.